Welcome to Scrapple TV. Hello, my name is Sherry Honkala, and this is Take It Back. Take it back. Do, 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 do. Take it back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take it back. Do, 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 do. Take it back. I'm running for Philadelphia Sheriff. I'm going to be the next people's sheriff, you see. I'm going to be looking out for the little guy. I'm going to be looking out for those of you that are watching this today. I'm not going to be representing the bankers, the developers, the speculators, those rich folks that can come and tear up our neighborhoods and do nothing about it. We intend in every segment of the show to put a spotlight on the villains in our neighborhood. This is going to be a show about the haves and the have-nots. We're gonna to continue to put a face on those folks. And in each and every single segment, I need your feedback. I need you and I need you to get involved. So let's make sure that I hear from you. Speaking of have-nots, let's look at the clip, Mouseland. I represent the mouse in Mouseland. Presently there came along one little mouse who had an idea. My friend, watch out for the little fellow with an idea. And he said to the other mice, look, fellas, why do we keep on electing a government made up of death? Why don't we elect a government made up of mice? Oh, he said he's a Bolshevik. Lock him up. <laughs> So they put him in jail. <laughs> but I want to remind you that you can lock up a mouse or a man, but you can't lock up an idea. Now let's go live to our heroine, our superhero, Tara the Poor Avenger. Soy Tara. The Luchadora de los Pobres. And the villain of the week of this week are all the developers that are in our community. We need to take our community back from these developers. They are not being held accountable to what the needs of our community are. are. First, if they're going to be developing homes, it shouldn't be $300,000 homes and above. It needs to be homes that we can afford, that we can purchase, and that we can maintain. We don't need another shopping mall that is only for others to go shopping at from outside our neighborhood. We need stores that we can afford to shop at. And last but not least, we need to get the message across that our public schools need to stay where they're at for our children. We need schools to educate and to mentor our future. Developers can't be allowed to come in and determine what is gonna be in our neighborhood, where it's going to be, and how it's going to be. And if their projects fail, who's left with the consequences of the empty buildings? We are. This has been Luchadora de los Pobres. Back to you, Sherry. Thank God for our super heroine that's out there fighting the villains in our neighborhoods. We need more superheroes. Now, let's go to um, this week in Philadelphia. This week in Philadelphia, our community land trust expert uh, came into town and talked about the importance of community land trust. There are 240 community land trusts across the United States. There are also community land trusts starting in England, Canada, Belgium, Australia, and Kenya. And what's interesting about this model is that every community takes the basic outline of what we call the classic CLT, the classic community land trust, and they shape it to their own needs, their own conditions, and their own priorities. So we've been working with the Take Back Vacant Land Coalition to fight for a community land trust. Some of the things that we've learned that are important about community land trust is that it keeps the rate of foreclosures down in a community. And when a family is in foreclosure, it's not just that individual's problem, it's the community's problem, because the CLT, the Community Land Trust, is also notified when a family's in foreclosure. Also, um, 
you have lifetime ownership of that property, your children inherit it, and it also has lifetime affordability. People can't just, uh, a developer or whatever, can't just take that property and put it on the market and charge $100,000, $400,000, whatever. That's happening in lots of neighborhoods across Philadelphia. So we are strong advocates of a community land trust. We, the neighbors that live in the neighborhood, get to decide what's built and developed in our neighborhoods. Isn't it high time that we begin to make those decisions? We can develop as much affordable housing as we want, gardens, farms, playgrounds. Right now in Philadelphia, there's a need for 57,000 units of affordable housing. How are we gonna get that? Let's get it through a community land trust. You get involved. Join the Take Back Vacant Land movement. This just in. Let's go live now to our correspondent, Guillermo Santos. Hello, I'm Guillermo Santos. The sheriff office, usually under fire to begin with, became the first role office to answer Mayor Nutter's call for higher standards. In completely other news, the world is being taken over by giant squids from Mars. Back to you, Mom, and help! Well, that concludes Take It Back. We look forward to seeing you in our next show. And remember, at the end of the day, all we have is each other. Let's start looking out for our neighbor, and let's stop being fooled by the cats. Your children deserve better, and it's up to us to take it back. Well, I'm going to tell you, fascists, you may be surprised. People in this world are getting organized. You're bound to lose. You fascists bound to lose.